Have you ever made soup from bones? Fed the children first and still starved the family? Maybe we drown our soup in sauce because we remember a history season in tears. Remember when uncles bit their wrists just to taste the salt. See, even cooking becomes its own trauma. The grip of the ladle both trigger warning and deliverance from immigrants. I've never seen my father cry unless he talked about his own father. Race, culture, and identity is not something that uh, people just feel very comfortable talking about. And so having it presented in a way that's fun and inviting will make people feel more susceptible to maybe participate in that type of dialogue. I think it's super essential to be able to have these different pieces of art, to be able to allow people to see the different aspects of Vietnamese culture, from the food, from the people, and to even see what's important to people. For us to complete the project, uh, the students had to actually go out to the community, some business members, um, customers, just like people they, they found in the community and interviewed them so that they could archive their stories. The awesome things about the exhibition happening at Fair and 44 is that it's in a space that's familiar to them, so it's not in a museum that's like outside of their community, but it's, it's uh, photographs of them like in the community, for this community, and um, in a space that's accessible. It's pretty much like the, the cultural hub for Vietnamese people. You know, this is where all my friends and I, we go for Vietnamese food to get to know, like, this is just the beginning of what the community is going to become. And so I think it's important to have art because it helps us to embrace our culture and share it with other people too, because City Heights is incredibly diverse.